So people who are autistic have a different way of expressing emotion. It feels different to them and social connectedness would be different. Um, so let me try to explain what is going on and then we can explain what it feels like. So first of all, they have uh, a limbic system uh, issue uh, compared to a normal person's limbic system. And I'm not saying that they have trauma, uh, although most people do have trauma, uh, but that's not the point I'm getting at here. The limbic system is highly sensitive to lipopolysaccharides and endotoxins. Um, when you inject lipopolysaccharide into a uh, mouse model, and any animal model, they display uh, sickness behavior, and that's because they have inflammation in their limbic system. And sickness behavior is like a kind of like a depressed mood or like lower mood, um, but chronic activation of that uh, causes a reactive response for them to produce BDNF. Um, kind of higher levels uh, as like an anti-inflammatory adaptive response. And so in people who are autistic, we on the spectrum, the way that they feel emotion is more through intellectual kind of conversations or a way to understand someone through pure talk uh, or better, better with talk, um, as sensory is a little bit different and the sensory is different because they have higher upregulated growth factors like nerve growth factor and BDNF, um, especially, uh, more synaptic plasticity in their brain. Um, it's called long-term potentiation where they continually create, uh, new synapses without long-term depression, which is uh, the ability to prune and, and uh, break apart and destroy that synapse. So people who are autistic essentially feel emotion differently because of endotoxin and endotoxin tolerance, and maybe not necessarily endotoxins itself, but anything inflammation um, that come along with the uh, adaptive response of the limbic system. So, I find that fascinating. I just carried to share that with you. Thank you guys for listening, and catch you in the next one.